Hi, myself Bensi Wilson, Assistant Professor, Rajini School of Engineering and Technology. In this lecture, we are going to discuss some topics in Module 5 of the subject Programming in C. In this lecture, we are going to discuss the sequential and random access to files and the various inbuilt functions in C programming to handle the files. We will move into our first topic, the sequential access and random access to the files. In sequential access to our data file, the computer system reads or writes information to the file sequentially, starting from the beginning of the file and proceeding step by step towards the end. On the other hand, Random access to a file means that a computer system can read or write information anywhere in the data file. This type of information is also called as direct access because the computer system knows where the data is stored and hence goes directly and reads the data. Sequential access has advantages when you access information in the same order all the time. Also, it is faster than the Random access. The next topic is the various inbuilt file handling functions in C. The FTEL function tells us about the current position in the file in bytes. The syntax of the FTEL function is pos equal to FTEL inside the bracket FPTR, where FPTR is a file pointer and POS holds the current position, that is, the total bytes read or written. For example, if a file has 10 bytes of data and if the FTEL function returns 4, then it means the 4 bytes has already been read or returned. Rewind function is used to move the file pointer position to the beginning of the file. Syntax of rewind is rewind inside the curly bracket FPTR, where FPTR is a file pointer. The given example shows the working of the functions FTEL and rewind. The given source code, the local variables name, age, and length are declared. Well, name is a character array of length 20. Age and length are of type integer. Then a file pointer is being declared. Next, a file called test.txt is opened using fopen function. Then a data hello to world is printed onto the file using fprintf function. On the next line, we could see an FTEL function with file pointer as the parameter. So the FTEL function will return the current position of the file pointer. Currently, the current position is now at the end of the file. So this function will return the total bytes in the file. So the value in the length will be the total length of the file in bytes. The next line we could see a rewind function with file pointer as a parameter. Rewind function will move the cursor position to the beginning of the file. In the succeeding lines we could see an fscanner function to read the values onto the file. Then the file is closed using fclose function. Then the values of name, age and length are displayed. The output of the program is shown here. We have given the name as hello to world and the age as 5. So it will display the total number of characters in the file as 13. fseek function is used to move the file position to a desired location. fseek function contains three parameters fptr offset and position. FPTR is a file pointer. Offset 
which is of type long, it specifies the number of position in bytes to move the file from the location specified by the parameter position. The value of the position can be negative or positive. A positive value position means it is the number of bytes which are skipped forward from the current position. Negative value indicates the number of bytes which are skipped backwards from the current position. The parameter position can take the following values. 0 which indicates the beginning of the file. 1 indicates the current position in the file and 2 indicates the end of the file. The example shown here demonstrates the working of fseek function. In the first example fseek p, 10, 0 p is a file pointer. 0 indicates the pointer is now in the beginning of the file. The parameter 10 indicates that the pointer position is skipped 10 bytes forward from the beginning of the file. The next example fseek p, minus y, 1. Here the pointer position is skipped 5 bytes backward from the current position which is indicated by the parameter 1. The negative sign indicates that the pointer have to move backwards. The given example demonstrates the working of FC function. This is a program to read the last 10 characters of the file using FC function. In the given source code, a file pointer FB is declared. Then a file called file1.c is opened using fopen function. Then we check whether the file pointer is not equal to null. Then if so, then we are reading the value of n. n indicates the number of characters to be read from the file. Then in the next line we have given the fc function with three parameters fp which is a file pointer minus n indicates that we are taking n bytes backwards. 2 indicates that the file pointer should be at the end of the file. So with this function we are taking the last n characters from the end of the file. Then inside the while loop we are checking whether each character is equal to the end of file. That is, here we are displaying all the characters in the file till we reach the end of the file. If your function finds the end of the file, it returns true in case the end of file is reached. Otherwise, it will return false. It is used to determine if the end of the file specified has been reached or not. The syntax of fur function is int, which is a return type, fuf, inside the bracket, fptr, where fptr is a file point. The given example demonstrates the working of fur function. In the given source code, a file pointer is declared and initialized. As null. Then a text file is opened with name info.txt using the fopen function. Then inside a while loop, we are checking that whether the end of file is reached or not. If the end of file is not reached, the values from the files are being read using the fgets function. Then the values are displayed using the puts function. This will continue till we reach the end of the file. So this is being checked using the fer function. Then we are closing the file using the fclose function. fread function. fread function is used to read the data from a file and store into a buffer or into a memory. 
the syntax of the afraid function is given here. It takes four parameters, buffer, size, count and the string. We will discuss the different parameters in the afraid function. First parameter was the buffer. It is a pointer to the location where the data will be stored. A buffer is a region of memory used to temporarily store the data. Second parameter is size, which indicates the size of each element to be read in bytes. The third parameter is count, which is the number of elements to be read. And the last parameter is a string, which is a pointer to the file object from where the data is to be read. The afraid function will return a value upon the successful completion. So the return value will be an integer which indicates the count, that is the number of elements to be read. If there is an error or if an end of file is reached, the return value will be lesser than the count. The given example demonstrates the working of a free function. In the given source code, a character array is declared, which is named as buffer. Then a file pointer string is declared. A text file called file.txt is opened using the fopen function. The next line, the fread function is given, which is used to read the data from the file, which is pointed by the file pointer string, and the data will be copied to the memory location called buffer. The second parameter in fread indicates the size of each character to be read. So here we are reading characters from the file. So in order to get the size of each character, we have used the size of operator. The third parameter, 20, indicates that the count of elements that is being read. Here, the maximum size of the buffer given is 20. The fret function will return the number of characters that is being read from the file into a variable called count. Then the function is closed using the fclose function and the values are displayed. Data read from the file will be displayed as buffer and the count of elements in the file is also displayed. The output of the program is shown here. The file contains a data hello world which is read using the fread function. Then the data from the buffer is displayed. So data read from the file will be hello world. Then the fret function will return the number of elements that is read from the file. So here the number of elements read is 12. Fwrite function. Fwrite function is used to write the data specified by a pointer to a file. The syntax of fwrite function is given here. The parameters of a fright function are same as that of the fread. First is the buffer, which is a pointer to the block of memory, which contains the data that has to be returned. Second parameter is a size, which specifies the number of bytes of each item that has to be returned. Count indicates the number of items that has to be returned. The last one is a file pointer which is a pointer to the file where the data items will be returned. This example demonstrates the working of the fright function. The given source code, the file pointer fp is declared. A character array called str is declared and initialized to a string called this is an example. A text file named as file.txt is opened using the fopen function. In the next line, we could see an fright function where the data in str will be copied or will be returned onto the file 
it is pointed by the file pointer fp. The second parameter one indicates the size of each item that has been returned. Here we are writing characters. So the size of the character will be one. The third parameter indicates the count of elements that is being returned. Here in order to get the size of the string array I have used the size of operator. Then have closed the file pointer using the fclose function. So when the given program is executed, we will get the output as shown here. In this lecture, we have discussed sequential access and random access to files. And regarding the various inbuilt file handling functions in C programming. The various functions we discussed were ftel, rewrite, fseek, feof, fread and fwrite. Thank you.